I was in Italy and I saw uh, this great temple of Isis in one of the small cities near Rome. Uh, the influence of Isis was really incredible in the Western world. And we can see that easily in many of the remains of the temples. And you can see the name of uh, Ramsid II was found in Saudi Arabia. Uh, I really, when I was a student, I collected all the information of the kings that left evidence in Syria, Palestine, and Iraq. And you really you have the full control that happened in the New Kingdom of Egypt when, she, when Egypt controlled the East was really very important. And even today, the whole world, the Egyptomania is in the hearts of everyone. If you talk about Egypt, uh, you can see how people are fascinated by pyramids, mummies, King Tut, the Sphinx. Uh, when I Skype to young people in any place in the country, I see that people are fascinated with ancient Egypt. I did a Skype in an American school, they wear masks masks of kings and queens, and they tell me the history. One of the biggest technical challenges in making this facsimile was the type of material we wanted to use. Papyrus is a plant that only grows in the banks of the Nile River and is collected only once a year. In order to make an identical reproduction of the original manuscript, we would need 74,000 sheets that, once selected at origin, would have to travel by plane from Cairo to our atelier in Derio, Vizcaya, a journey of 5,000 kilometers. Once the bundles with the papyrus were received, we had to clean and trim the edges of each and every one of the seeds since, being a vegetable material, there were many fibers that had to be eliminated, so that the printing on them would be simply perfect. For this, we used the best and most advanced technology available. Another challenge was the presentation of the facsimile itself. How would we present the 37 sections, grouped all together in the most appropriate way and in accordance with Egyptian tradition? Finally, we decided that the best alternative will be a large box made of root wood, of noble wood, crowned with the wink beetle adding tradition and great dignity to this important funerary document.